Do you have either a 5.9 liter or 6.7 liter Dodge Cummins truck? If so, are you looking for a tuner? And if you're looking for a tuner, have you considered the Smarty Touch? On today's video, I'm going to show you how to program a Smarty Touch and just how simple it is. Coming up. This is the Smarty Touch. First step to programming it is to turn your key to the on position. Alright, so here's the main screen on the Smarty Touch. It's pretty simple to program. As the name implies, it is a touch screen. And it's also made by Smarty, one of the legendary tuner makers for the Cummins 5.9 and 6.7 diesel powered trucks. So let's get started here. Okay, across the top, you see A, B, C, and D. Those are the four screens that you can customize to show what you want to see. And uh, let's click on A. As you can see, this is just like a uh, analog display here. You can go to B by clicking this arrow right here on the top right of the screen. And it's got a mix between analog and digital display. Let's go to C. As well, you've got one analog and five digital displays on here. And D, it's all just digital displays there. So. Depending on what you want to look at and how you want to see your gauges, you can set these up however you want. It's pretty simple to change it. You just click on what you want there. And then you've got options. You can use up and down arrows to scroll between the options. So let's go ahead and just uh, select temperature, hit enter. All right, and then you've got other options here. And you can read through those and just look again up and down arrows see what you want to see sometimes if you have more than one page of options uh, so you just keep hitting your arrows there until you find what you want to find or you can just touch I put engine coolant there all right so now that you're done you can change ranges and you can set that up however you want um, if you want to change it, you can click on that and you can type, uh, say 20, put a maximum, maybe 240, hit enter when you're done. All right, and then when you're done with making your changes, hit save, return to dashboard. Currently at 186 because I was running the truck a few minutes ago. So I have to go back to the main screen, just hit these buttons at the top in the center of the screen. And in order to program your ECM, you can hit ECM. And you can either get the diagnostic tuning codes at this screen, or you can go ahead and go forward to program your ECM. I'm gonna hit ECM. Now, on this programmer here, you can get the SSR and the TNTR tuning for this, but since my truck is just a uh, factory for the most part I'm sticking with a standard Revo tuning so I'm gonna hit that customized tuning as you see here you've got a zero which is half power and then you've got uh, options to go all the way up to nine on your power levels so in order to uh, change your power level just hit that and then you can scroll up and down through the menu find which power level you want as soon as you find what you want just touch that now uh, you've got options here you can change your rail pressure timing torque so if you want to change that just select on it and you've got options stock default which is number one number two or number three since I've been running this tuner for a while on my truck I know what I want it set at I'm just going to go ahead and change it to three and then timing I'm gonna change that to three as well and then torque you can change that as well, but I'm not only going to put that on two. Okay, once you're done making the changes you want on this screen, just hit next. Now you've got the option, you can change your speed limiter from stock. If you want to select that, you can change it all the way up to 250 miles per hour, or you can set it as low as 25 miles per hour. And say if you're going to valet your truck. You can go ahead and change it to 25 miles an hour. That way you know nobody will be going and hot rodding your truck. So I'm going to exit 
because I don't want to change it I'll just leave it as stock and then the next step just hit program all right sometimes you get this um, alarm here just hit I agree and it will go ahead and go through the process of programming your truck so you'll notice the progress bar on the screen there it'll show you how far it is in programming your truck and I've done this several times uh, when I was filling up my truck at the pump I would just start the program and then go ahead and fill up my truck and about the time I got finished filling up my truck um, it would be done with the programming okay, now when this reaches 100% complete it will cycle your lift pump on your truck and then it'll give you some instructions that you need to follow pretty simple just uh, turn your key off and on a few times Turn my key off. Turn the key on. Turn the key off. Alright, now once you come to the screen, just simply turn the key on. Just wait for a few seconds. Go ahead and let it cycle on like it was doing a minute ago. And then it says you can hit exit. Once you get to this screen, you're going to want to hit exit again. And then choose the uh, screen that you want to see. So I've got display B as the one that I primarily use. And on there, I've got my boost pressure on the side, my EGTs, transmission temperature, my rail pressure, actual and rail pressure desired on that screen there. So this is what I use, but you can set it up however you want, as I showed you earlier got four different screens you can set them up uh, pretty much with any information that you want that's uh, in your ECM. Alright guys so I went ahead and started my truck just so you can get an idea of uh, what the numbers look like when you're actually running. I'll go ahead and uh, rip it up a little bit you can see some boosts coming up. And that's it pretty simple. Go ahead and uh, get your Smarty Touch programmed.